whenever I think we get the budget under control and we're going to have a perfect month, surprise! Nope. What's up? Okay. So, did we have the creep this month? Nah. Relatively speaking, we did pretty well. We we had a lot of unexpected stuff this June. And June, I don't know, last year June was bad for us too. Last year, we actually took on more debt because of the month of June. This year we did not, and that is awesome. Yay, win. We haven't taken on any more debt since last year June, so that is fantastic. Um, we are hardcore committed to not taking on any more debt. So what happened this June? As always, I'm going to go over our cushion category individually. That is where we put most random stuff that came up in the month. And then I will go over each ca individual category. I will tell you that my work trip really screwed up our budget. I think I came up with a way to deal with it, but I... I'm not super excited about it. I'm kind of thinking maybe like a work travel sinking fund is the way to go, but that will involve like a thousand dollars in there pretty quickly. And I, I don't know. I, I haven't, I haven't come up with that. I think Mauricio and I, I'm filming this prior to our budget meeting. So I'm hoping that Mauricio and I can come up with a way to deal with that in our budget meeting this month. And I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So our first overage I talked to you about in the mid month budget update, and it was a simple one. I went to eat my lunch that I had made and it was a carryover from the week before and it had bean sprouts in it and the sprouts had gone bad. I took one bite and I went and threw them away and went down to the cafeteria in my office building and bought lunch and that was 9.75 ish. I also alluded to this one in the mid month budget update, $100 parking ticket. Mauricio feels horrible about that and that wiped out our entire cushion thus throwing off our budget. We had to do a lot of movement in this budget to make everything balance out and we ended up pulling from next month and I'll go over that when I get to it. Another thing that I totally screwed up, I went out with my Friday lunch group at work and I went to pull my 20 for my blue money out and I had forgotten to put it in there. So I had to use the debit card for that. I actually did not um, obviously give myself the blow money and that'll roll over, but it was a debit on the account that I wasn't planning on and that was 1746. We had Indian food and it was delicious. Yum. I love Indian food. So Mauricio had a quite exciting month out. And whenever I show him this, he's always like, uh uh, nah uh, nah uh. And then I show him the date and he's like, yep, that was me. That was me. That was me. But keeping what I found is keeping Mauricio's lunches out when he uses the debit card in one category and having him totaling it up for him really makes him realize how much he is spending on food. So for this, it was three transactions all at Wendy's for a total of $26.61. And I am sure when I have that meeting in the budget meeting, he's gonna be like, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. And then he'll be like, yep, that was me. The next thing was $6 for parking for an interview that Mauricio had that it cost him to pay to park there. So I'm totally cool with that. And then the last one is super exciting, but it was an expensive expense that we didn't know we were gonna have to pay. And that is $100 for Mauricio to graduate. He is registered for his very last class. And that means he should, in theory, be done in August, barring no issues. He is still waiting on credits for two courses that he has applied to do as like a life study sort of thing. So he wrote a paper, really, really long paper, like a 40 page paper for each one of those classes. And he's still waiting for approval for those. And assuming those go through, 
he should be graduating at the end of August. So we didn't know he had a graduation fee. He got an email about it and he was like, hey, guess what? I have a hundred dollar graduation fee. So we were totally gonna pay that immediately. So that just came out of our budget. So now I wanted to talk to you about my work trip. This is where the bulk of the budget issues came in. So between that, the parking ticket and the other miscellaneous expenses, our budget was really like $500 over. And what ended up happening is my work travel was about $325. I didn't, I didn't know initially I was going to be taking this trip and so I didn't really plan for it. And it cost about three, uh, the 325 is eating out Ubers um, from the airport to the hotel, hotel to the airport, and then to and from the conference, and then out for meal. Um, and then also for luggage fees, you know, $25 each way. So 325 about, and then my traveling, my actual hotel expenses, and my my plane ticket I put on my government credit. What I did this month, because of those overages, I took out money from the July budget and I will submit, my paperwork has already been submitted for that trip and hopefully I will get reimbursed in July and that should balance out everything, I hope, fingers crossed. Um, if not, we'll be playing, you know, pull from next month to, to cover this month. I I really don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I really think sinking fund is the way to go. I'm not sure though. I mm, I don't know. I don't I don't know, I don't know. That was about 325. So let's go over each individual category and find out how we did. We did okay this month. It wasn't the best month, it wasn't the worst month. Um there was a lot of money jostling. Our utilities, which is our storage unit and our phone, remained. It started at 543 and ended up at 543 because those charges are pretty stable. Our transportation started out at 585 and ended up at 617.46. And the difference in that was 100% Mauricio decided his tires needed to be rotated and did it without telling me he was going to do it. Otherwise, I would have told him to wait till the next month, but he just did it while he was getting his oil changed. And so that, I should have known that was coming. I didn't, my bad. Melina's expenses started out at 2,074 and ended up at 2,074, right where I expected. And that $500, almost $600 increase is the difference between a full month tuition and a full month tuition and summer camp. So that is hopefully the last month we will have to deal with June and the, the debacle that is the June schooling expenses. Well, we'll have summer camp every year until she's old enough to stay by herself during the day, which will be like when she's 18. <laughs> yeah, I'm that mom. The stores category started out at 190 and ended up at 338. And this is actually just a shifting of money from the giving category to the spending category. We bought the gifts on Amazon rather than in a store. And so we had, you know, $50 for a birthday gift here and moved it up there. And that's really all it is. And a couple of items at the grocery store that I went over on, but for the most part, it was just shifting from one category to the other. Insurance in Texas started out at 299 and it finished up right at 299. The next category is our miscellaneous category it started out at 314 and ended up at 544 and there were two items that caused it to be so much higher I got a chip on my debit card finally and it came with a different card number so for last month my um, Weight Watchers charge did not go through because the card number changed and that's the only thing I have auto drafted on that card. So it double charged in the month of June, but that was no big deal because I carried over that money, which was budgeted for May into June. So that was fine. And the reason I didn't talk about it in the May budget is because I didn't realize it had happened when I filmed. It was after I filmed that I realized I hadn't been charged. So it just rolled over, no biggie. And the other thing was pre-swim team. Um, the coach of the swim team in our neighborhood 
is she hosts a one month swimming camp from 8.15 in the morning until 8.45 in the morning for a full month. And that is for people, for little kids who are almost ready to join swim team, but not quite there. So it's like working on strokes and treading water and all of those things. I actually thought Melina at five was too young and after talking to all of the mothers that have kids that are going to be entering kindergarten this year, I realized Melina was the only one of the eight soon to be kindergartners that wasn't um, registered for this. And swimming is the one expense that we are willing to spend money on because swim team in our neighborhood i think it's free but it's a huge neighborhood activity and with melina starting kindergarten i wanted her to spend as much time with the soon-to-be kindergartners as she can so we were totally okay to spend the 185 on that i would have totally budgeted in if i had known that she was going to be doing it but i really i legitimately thought she was too young and she's not. So um, we went ahead and came up with the money for that. And the biggest change I discussed in our mid-month budget update, we had originally programmed $4,811 to go to debt. And we ended up actually paying $2,153, just making our minimum payments. Um, and the difference of those was we decided to set aside some money for Mauricio to take some certification courses for entering the world of cybersecurity. So I think this is a smart move for us. It is $2,500-ish that didn't go to debt. And so if you want to know what our minimum payments versus what we pay every month, we put about $2,500 extra every month onto our debt. The next category is our cushion category, which I discussed. It started out as $100 like it always does. And it ended up at $259, almost $260. So, and that was predominantly the parking ticket and the graduation fees. My YouTube category started around $1,450 where it always is and ended up at 40 to 50 ish. And that was two major things that I did. And you know, I get paid by YouTube, so I don't mind spending money when I need to on YouTube. And this was two major categories. I did a video on Mauricio um, making, um, we call it in my house, we call it beer butt chicken because we usually use beer, but because it was a collab and they didn't want um, alcohol in it, we used uh, chicken stock, which is equally as delicious as beer, beer but we always call it beer butt chicken. <laughs> but um, that video, Mauricio did a lot of talking and I've noticed over time that a lot of people have trouble understanding Mauricio. And I know every once in a while he says something and I'm like, what? And it's because he's a low talker and he has a heavy accent. So I wanted everybody to be able to understand him. So I went ahead and did closed captions. And I, rather than doing them myself, which would have taken me four or five hours, I paid somebody to do it. And that cost me $18. And so mathematically, if it were $4, it was $5 an hour worth of work. I was totally okay with taking that out of my YouTube income and putting that towards that. And then the other thing I am doing is I am about to hit one year on YouTube and I wanted to do a compilation video of like some of like my major milestones on YouTube and make it super fun and super cool where I was talking about the video talking about the milestones and then showing a clip from the video. And I realized that several of my earlier videos, um, I don't know what I did, but I was unable to keep the video. So I needed to go back onto YouTube and download the video onto my computer. And so I had to buy an app for that and that cost, I think, $9.99. And so I did that. Those are the two expenses for that. And then medical expenses started out at $100 and ended up at $168.46. And there were three events and one of them I'm super excited about. I know I talked about a dental bill I had and I was kind of irritated about why I was being charged $125. And so I finally got around to calling them and I was like, I don't understand what was so different about what you planned versus what I got that you charged me $125 and they said this and that and this and that. And they ended up only charging me $37. So 
if you ever have a bill that doesn't make sense, call. Because it was literally just me going, I don't understand why. And they lowered it, you know, just under a hundred bucks. So it was totally worth it to make that, you know, five minute phone call. The other thing is we needed to do Melina's physical for school. And apparently my doctor charges $20 to fill out forms. Okay, I get it, it takes time. And then Mauricio had a dermatology appointment. Mauricio has eczema that is weird and was occurring on his ankle. And so he went to the doctor and they gave him some injections to get rid of it. And so they injected it and then he had to get some special medication for that. So that was like $85, that medication. I don't know, it's gold medication. <laughs> it's just made with a little flex of gold in it. <laughs> It's the same place that he gets his smoothies, his, his gold-filled smoothies. Our sinking funds stayed right at 325 and some of you may wonder why we went ahead and contributed to sinking funds when we did not contribute and took money away from the debt. And truthfully, that's because the sinking funds are automatic and the debt is not. So that's why we did it that way. Our final category was the 324-ish for my work, which started out as zero. I am gonna start a work budget category and we're gonna talk about what to do about work travel. So that I've already talked about. So that is how our month went. So if you are new to my monthly budgets, please go ahead and click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Eat that. Goofball. <laughs>